Hi everybody and welcome to our channel. My name is Mary Kiork, uh, immigration lawyer at Kiork Immigration Law. Today I wanted to make a video on restoration. Um, this year we have had a lot of clients uh, and inquiries about restoration applications particularly because of the pandemic. So a lot of people had to stay in Canada longer than intended. Uh, they weren't able to travel either because it wasn't safe or their flight was canceled or they had to stay in Canada um, with, their lock, uh, with their loved ones. Um, so what is the restoration? A restoration is, for example, when you come into Canada on a visitor visa and you overstay your status. So you were going to stay six months, the officer allowed you to, to stay six months, or for example, you entered, you got a visitor record for three months or four months or two weeks, and instead of leaving at the expiration of the status or filing on time uh, in Canada extension of your visitor status, which you can do, um, typically we like at the office, we file one week before, on IRCC website it says to file 30 days before, but as long as you file at least one day before, you're okay. Um, if you fail to do that, then you fall out of status, and there's typically a 90-day period to file a restoration application so that you could, if it's approved, you revert back to being a, a visitor. Um, so this is something that's allowed in the law to allow some time for people to fix the, the, the problem, which is that they, they're now out of status. Um, what happened uh, with IRCC during the pandemic is that they allowed some flex they are, they are currently allowing some flexibility. So if you overstayed your visitor status, you have, uh, or it could be also another temporary status, you have until December 31st uh, to uh, restore your status. So that 90 day um, is longer um, just because uh, IRCC understood that there's a lot of people that were um, caught by surprise because of the pandemic and there's a lot of situation where people weren't able to apply online, get to a computer, figure out what to do to extend their status, get in touch with a representative, find the right lawyer for them. Um, so right now that's the rule. I'm not sure what's going to happen um, in the new year. New rules will come out. Um, but currently you have until December 31st to restore your status if you let your status expire. Now a restoration application, a lot of people think that, oh, it's just the same as for example, the Encanta extension, I just have to add a $200 fee on top of the $100. Uh, but at our office, we treat them a little bit differently. We take it very seriously when someone is out of status because it is something serious. Um, in general, when you are a foreign national, you're visiting, you never want to fall out of status. It's very important to keep track of that. So when we do restoration, we include a lot of, a lot of information about why um, you fell out of status. So is it because you couldn't find the right information? Is it because you tried? W what efforts did you put and you weren't able to? Um, so it's important to cover that and ideally have some documentation as well. And on top of it, all the usual stuff for uh, for an in Canada extension application. So the ties to your home country, how you're gonna financially support yourself while you're waiting, um, who are you staying with, what was the main purpose of coming. So for example, if you came, you know, we have a lot of clients, for example, who came to visit a, a fiance or a spouse or uh, a parent, you know, just in March, they came for a couple of weeks or in February or in January of this year, 2020, and then and they were supposed to go back. Um, but the pandemic happened and now they had to stay longer. Uh, so is it because, you know, your, like I said earlier, your flight was canceled or the country where you were going to return to was in a very bad situation and you just wanted to stay longer in Canada to feel more safe. So whatever the reason was, it's important to explain all that and not just ask for a, a restoration thinking that automatically it will be uh, approved. Um, if you have any questions uh, about the restoration application or in Canada uh, extension of your visitor status, um, please don't hesitate to contact us and we would be happy to help you. Thank you.